Sông Mạch Trường, Quý Châu. Please be seated. The President, uh, the court is now in session concerning the Santé Bal S21 and the Kamau prison. The Greffier, please uh, report uh, the attendance of the parties to the proceedings. The Greffier, Your Honour, the President, uh, parties in these uh, proceedings are all present. The President, uh, the Greffier, please make sure that the attendance of the parties are well included in the transcript. Le greffier a joint au procès verbal de cette audience la liste des parties to proceed, présentes. Uh, the chamber would like to inquire the poursuit. parties. La chambre souhaiterait euh, demander aux parties whether uh, they would like to make any further si observations faire part and uh, de commentaires on the 23rd of April there was a document, uh, document introduced in the court uh, whether the parties uh, object uh, the, how the document presented uh, or would there be any other specific issues uh, the defense uh, or the parties would like to si raise était euh, à euh, Donc, effectuer par rapport à ce Mr. document. Rouge, uh, you can take the floor to address this matter. Je vous invite, Maître Roux, à prendre la parole. Je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. La défense a examiner le the defense document has examined the document produit par euh, les co-procureurs co euh, lors de la dernière audience during de the last hearing document comportant euh, un certain I nombre de photos et le commentaire de la défense est le suivant and this is what the defense has to say about this la défense avait compris the had des understood. précédentes dispositions de la Chambre From the chamber's previous que les parties that the pouvaient parties demander à ce que fasse partie des éléments de preuve des pièces du dossier. Or, le document produit par les coprocureurs n'est pas une pièce du dossier. C'est un extrait d'une pièce du dossier. Et c'est tout à fait différent. Le bureau des coprocureurs a sélectionné dans des pièces du dossier has une partie selected from amongst the documents in the des documents. Case, part of the document. Il présente sa propre sélection 
and is presenting its own qui est partiel which is partial et donc partial and therefore avant que l'accusé ait été interrogé before the accused has been questioned donc, euh, la défense demande des clarifications. The defense accordingly requests clarification. Par exemple, sur In les photos regard, de la reconstitution for présentées example, dans le document du procureur. C'est seulement document, une partie des photos only some of those sélectionnées par le procureur. Selected by the prosecutor. Est-ce que ça veut dire qu'il faut maintenant que la défense donne à la Chambre l'autre partie des photos qui est au dossier Nous allons perdre du temps inutilement. Il nous semblait avoir compris qu'après que la Chambre ait interrogée ou bien l'accusé ou bien les témoins, les parties peuvent alors déposer ou plus exactement demander à ce que l'on verse très précisément au dossier les éléments de preuve qui y figurent déjà. Et à ce moment-là, mais à ce moment-là seulement, And only les parties peuvent sélectionner the parties les éléments de preuve qu'elles vont choisir. L'accusation va sélectionner les éléments de preuve qui vont à l'appui de sa thèse et la défense va sélectionner les éléments de preuve and the defense qui vont à l'appui de sa propre défense. Mais ce que nous ne souhaitons pas, c'est que to see le bureau du procureur, is that the of the avant l'interrogatoire de l'accusé, avant l'interrogatoire des témoins, before witnesses sélectionne des pièces du dossier, et les présente comme si elles étaient objectives. Donc, de deux choses l'une. So, Ou bien le procureur communique à la Chambre, à ce moment-là, l'ensemble du document. Puts before the chamber the entire document. Ou bien s'il veut faire time, une sélection... Il attend que le témoin et que l'accusé ait d'abord fait sa déposition. Voilà le, le point sur lequel This la défense souhaitait faire des commentaires et obtenir des clarifications de la part de la Chambre. Chamber. La défense est prête, the defense is même si elle n'a pas les mêmes prepared, moyens humains et matériels que les coprocureurs. La défense est prête à faire elle-même maintenant the un travail pour communiquer à la Chambre l'ensemble des photos et non pas seulement une sélection. Mais il me semble que c'est vraiment du travail inutile. Voilà. Je résume. Ce qui me pose problème, c'est que le procureur ne présente qu'une sélection d'un document qui figure au dossier d'instruction comme s'il s'agissait de quelque chose d'objectif. Ça n'est pas quelque chose d'objectif. C'est la thèse du procureur et elle est prématurée. J'espère m'être fait clairement comprendre.
I hope Merci I beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Understood. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Jane Sabrina. The President, uh, le the co-prosecutor, you take the floor. Monsieur le co-procureur, thank, thank you. There are two issues in the opinion of the in the submission of the co-prosecutors. The first is the trial chamber has requested the parties to give advance notification of the documents upon it upon which the parties seek to rely or seek to have debated contradictorily before the chamber. That was the purpose of putting this bundle of documents before the chamber. It was for the assistance of the court. And it was also following something that was said in the preparatory hearings. And I'm sorry, I don't have the exact reference. It was either in the initial hearing or the trial management meeting. And uh, I'm having my assistant look at this as we speak. La phase de a section in which I believe it was uh, Judge Lavergne who indicated uh, that, uh, if appropriate, the parties si could put photocopies of documents before the trial chamber uh, for the assistance chambre, of all concerned. So firstly, this booklet was intended as assistance for the court. Secondly, it is correct to say that this is a selection of the photographs from a larger exhibit in the case file. But forgive me if I am wrong, it is the co-prosecutors who bear the burden of proving the guilt of the accused. And of course, the co-prosecutors will seek to put documents before the chamber upon which they rely to support the conviction of the accused. But this being a fair adversarial hearing, the defence can do the same for the arguments that they seek to rely. The civil parties can select documents or parts of documents upon which they wish to rely. I'm afraid I don't quite understand the time-wasting allegation. It would appear to the co-prosecutors to save time, we have focused on those portions of the documents that we believe support our case. The defence are perfectly entitled to do the same. And just to close, the co-prosecutors have put these documents before the trial chamber, not with analysis or with conclusions, because to do so would be we would require a Rule 92 submission. How, how else are documents to get before the, the trial chamber? Um, I don't know whether, Mr. President, you've been provided this morning with a piece of paper that we have prepared regarding the documents that we wish to rely upon in relation to the current issue. And the reason I raise this now is because it might be of assistance to all parties if the court were to lay down firm guidelines in how it wishes the parties to put documents before it. The document that we've prepared this morning, a one, a one piece of paper, listing the four documents that we wish to rely on in the cross-examination, I'm sorry, the examination of the accused, is one suggestion. If that is acceptable to the trial chamber, that is what, what we propose to do from now on, is to give advance notice of the documents upon which we rely. And that, as I said in the beginning, is what we intended to do by providing the bundle of photographs and other materials 
lorsque nous avons fourni comme nous l'avons fait la semaine dernière, l'ensemble des documents. Mais for selecting those sections of the document which it considers relevant and appropriate. The defence are entitled to do exactly the same. Thank you. 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 To make any observations concerning the points raised by the co-prosecutors concerning the distribution of the booklet, concerning the distribution of the booklet, so would you like to make any comments regarding the matter you can now take before? Good morning. On behalf of Civil Parties Group, when we do support prosecution submission, we do support prosecution submission. Thank you, Yannis. Ce qui vient d'être déclaré par l'accusation. The president now, Civil Party Group Two. Mr. Compisay, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Compisay, your honours. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, Madame et Messieurs les juges. I would like to make. Je souhaiterais faire part de quelques observations concernant la production du document et des co-prosecuteurs et je soutiens leur position. J'aimerais respond also to the defense counsel. I know that the defense counsel has a lot of experiences concerning the burden of proof. And the burden of proof is the responsibility of the co-prosecutors. So all the documents related uh, will be raised uh, and presented uh, for that purpose. And the Defense Council stated that uh, this kind of document is uh, perceived as bias. But if we uh, think that the co-prosecutors bring all the burden of proof and also the, both the exculpatory and uh, inculpatory uh, evidence uh, that would be overloaded. Uh, so only the defense counsel who is in charge of finding the exculpatory evidence when it comes to the wasting of time in uh, bringing these documents, I think um, it is not appropriate to say so because it is the effect of every party involved and the prosecution is not exceptional because uh, he or she tries their best to bring all those documents and uh, the time uh, to bring this evidence is not uh, considered as a waste of time. Consacre à présenter ces documents, eh bien, n'est pas ici une perte de temps. C'est tout ce que je voulais dire. Je vous remercie. Le président, civil party lawyers group three, you can take the floor now. Avocat des partis civils, le groupe numéro trois, vous pouvez prendre la parole. Thank you, Mr. President, and your honours. On behalf of uh, Civil Party Group 3, we do not have any observation regarding this uh, matter at this moment, and we would like to leave it to the Chamber to make a decision. I'm very grateful, Your Honour. President, Civil Party Group 4, you now can take the floor. Mr. Hong Kim Soon, thank you, Mr. President, and Your Honours. Je vous remercie. For me, as the representative of civil party group four, I would like to make an observation. First, I would like to strongly support the motion of uh, the prosecution. Second, I think that uh, the document submitted on the 23rd of April has nothing uh, that can be questioned regarding the delay of the proceedings. Because these documents 
les débats, ces documents ont déjà placed été in, versés. Uh, have already existed even during the investigating phase, including the documents in the case file. To me, I think these documents help speed up the proceedings, and it can also um, clarify the position of the proceedings so that the Chamber has nothing to delay the proceedings because uh, uh, by the justification of having those documents both in Khmer, in French and English. And there are well explained already that the documents aim to assist the party and the judges for, to consider um, the case so that all parties, including the accused himself, is well informed of uh, the documents. So I therefore can conclude that uh, the Defense Council has participated in both the investigating phase and he also visited uh, the S21. So in civil law system, the, uh, the party has the right to include uh, this document, including the co-prosecutors and also the civil parties. Now it depends on the chamber itself whether it accepts uh, or uh, regards this document as admissible or not. Uh, so I would like the chamber to consider accepting these documents. Thank you. Considerer accepter ces documents. Je vous remercie. Again, look, may we. The president, uh, the floor is your, Mr. François Roux. Maître Roux, je vous en prie. Oui, Monsieur le Président. En fait, la, la défense, yes, pour Mr. sa part, se, se référait au transcript euh, de, de l'audience de mise en état du 15 janvier 2009, page 66 du transcript en, anglais, en français, pardon. À cette occasion. Voilà. Donc, à la ligne 16 en français, il est indiqué à cette occasion, la Chambre a indiqué que compte tenu de ce qu'elle avait le devoir d'assurer la conduite des débats, il lui revenait en premier de présenter les éléments de preuve. Voilà. C'est en tout cas ce que nous, nous avons compris de l'organisation des débats. Et donc, il me semble, comme je l'indiquais tout à l'heure, qu'il était prématuré de la part du procureur de déposer un tel document avant même que la Chambre ait procédé à l'interrogatoire de l'accusé. Et il n'était pas juste de déposer ce document en indiquant c'est un document du dossier alors que, comme vient de le reconnaître le coprocureur, c'est une sélection de documents du dossier. C'est tout à fait différent. Par contre, aujourd'hui, le coprocureur distribue à tout le monde une feuille sur laquelle il indique les documents dont il souhaite se servir aujourd'hui. Là, il me paraît que c'est un travail utile pour tout le monde. Il indique à l'avance qu'il souhaite que soit présenté un, deux, trois, quatre documents. Très bien. La défense n'a rien à objecter. Mais l'autre jour, le procureur a déposé à l'avance ce qui n'est pas un document du dossier, ce qui est une sélection faite par le procureur à partir d'un élément du dossier, et c'est ce qui choque la défense. Merci. 
That is what is surprising to the defense. Thank you. The President, after having heard the observations of the Defense Council regarding the list of documents to, uh, submitted by the co-prosecutors on the 23rd of April 2009, we noted uh, also uh, the submissions by the co-prosecutors and the civil party lawyers. The chamber still maintains its position to object the defense counsel regarding the submission of this document. The details of our decision will be made uh, during the break. Nous vous communiquerons les détails de notre décision. As for décision other documents raised by the co-prosecutors and with not, uh, have, having not been contested, then uh, the documents can be raised. Ces documents-là peuvent être Next, présentés. We would like to proceed uh, to the questioning regarding the schedule. Des questions. Fact. Uh, so Sur, to begin with, uh, we would like uh, to invite the, co uh, the, sorry, the uh, security guard to bring the accused to the dock. De faire venir à la barre. The president, Some uh, Le president. What is your problem? You need to even seek permission first uh, before you can address the court. Il faut que vous demandiez la permission à la chambre avant de prendre la parole. J'ai essayé précisément de faire cela. 
une chose que le groupe de parti civil numéro un aimerait soulever à ce stade, avec votre permission. The president, uh, you now take the floor, then. Monsieur le, pré le Président, vous pouvez donc prendre la parole. Merci, Thank Monsieur you. le Président. Thank you. Monsieur le Président, Mr. President, le mercredi 22 avril, mercredi passé, comme vous le savez, l'accusé a commencé à témoigner sur la mise en place de S21 et il a été interrogé par vous-même et il a été également interrogé par le juge Yasso Khan. Et le lendemain, le jeudi 23 avril, jeudi passé, au début de l'audience, mon confrère Maître Roux a demandé à ce que l'accusé soit autorisé à clarifier une de ses réponses, et Maître Roux a dit ceci, et je me réfère à la transcription de jeudi passé, page 3, Maître Roux a dit ceci, je pense qu'il y a à nouveau une difficulté d'interprétation hier soir, après avoir fait le point avec l'accusé, je souhaiterais qu'on lui demande de repréciser ce qui a été dit concernant les relations horizontales et Vertical. Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les juges, l'accusé dont cette audience sera appelé à témoigner directement et à répondre à des questions plusieurs fois, et vous l'avez décidé par votre ordre du 20 mars 2009. Et chaque fois, c'est la règle 90.1 du règlement intérieur, chaque fois, les juges, puis les coprocureurs, puis les avocats des partis civils, puis les avocats de la défense pourront, en audience, poser toutes les questions ou requérir toutes les clarifications qu'elles souhaitent. Et c'est simplement le sens de cette observation. Nous pensons que ce dialogue entre l'accusé d'une part et toutes les parties doit avoir lieu à l'audience. Et pas en dehors de l'audience. Et nous ne pensons pas que lorsque l'accusé s'exprime depuis le box des accusés et répond à des questions, il soit opportun qu'une des parties puisse, après l'audience, faire le point avec l'accusé sur des parties du dossier qui sont précisément en train de discuter à l'audience avec l'accusé. Et pour être clair, nous ne demandons pas, nous ne demandons pas à ce que quand l'accusé est dans le box et répond à des questions d'audience, la défense ne puisse pas communiquer avec lui en dehors de l'audience. Laissez-moi laissez répéter cette dernière phrase pour que ce soit clair. Nous ne demandons pas à ce que quand l'accusé est dans le box des accusés et répond à des questions en audience, il ne puisse pas communiquer du tout avec ses avocats en dehors de l'audience. Ce n'est pas ce que nous demandons. Et mes confrères le savent très certainement, il y a sur ce point précis une décision récente de la Chambre d'appel du tribunal pour l'ex-Yougoslavie dans l'affaire Pirlich du 5 septembre 2008. Et il est dit, dit qu'un accusé doit en effet pouvoir en tout temps discuter avec ses avocats durant le procès, y compris lorsqu'il témoigne depuis le box des accusés. Et nous n'avons aucun problème avec cela. Mais dans ces audiences, puisque les parties peuvent précisément, et c'est de nouveau la règle 90.1, poser toutes les questions et obtenir toutes les clarifications qu'elles désirent en audience, nous demandons simplement à ce que pendant le temps où l'accusé témoigne, et répond à des questions depuis le box des accusés, aucune partie, y compris la défense, ne puisse, en dehors de l'audience, faire le point avec l'accusé et parler avec lui de choses qu'il a dites durant la journée depuis le box 
des accusés. Et encore une fois, la raison, c'est l'arrêt 90 qui prévoit que c'est à l'audience que ces questions et ces clarifications sont réglées. C'est notre soumission, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The President, uh, I note Le your presence, Mr. François Roux. Maître Rouge, je note que vous souhaitez prendre la parole. Merci, Monsieur uh, le Président. Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Pour une clarification In order to clarify, qui things, intéressera ici les juristes de common law, the common law jurists, nous sommes dans un processus de civil law. In a civil law et mon And confrère s'est trompé quand il dit « l'accusé témoigne ». Dans un processus de civil law, civil law vous aurez observé, mon confrère, que l'accusé ne témoigne pas, friend, il ne testify. prête pas serment. Donc les règles so, que vous invoquez sont effectivement des règles que nous connaissons devant les tribunaux pénaux internationaux dans lesquels on applique la common law. Et j'ai découvert ces règles au terme desquelles, effectivement, pendant la période pendant laquelle un accusé témoigne, la défense ne peut pas évoquer avec lui les débats qui ont cours à l'audience, en common law. Oui. Nous sommes ici dans un procès de civil law. Et dans un procès de civil law, mon confrère, personne ne m'empêchera de parler avec mon client de tout ce qui se passe à l'audience et de lui donner tous les conseils que j'estime devoir lui donner. Ça, ce sont nos règles professionnelles. Et je trahirais mon serment si je ne faisais pas ainsi. Je trahirais mon serment d'avocat si, pendant les suspensions d'audience, je n'allais pas parler avec mon client de ce qui se dit à l'audience. Une fois de plus, il n'est pas témoin dans ce procès, il est accusé au sens de la civil law. Et il a besoin de pouvoir s'entretenir librement avec ses avocats sur tous les sujets. Je crois que ces clarifications étaient nécessaires. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, puis-je répondre brièvement Maître Gouverneur, Monsieur le Président, may I briefly uh, address this Uh, based on your observation, uh, this is the, the last uh, matter regarding this matter. The President says uh, you can now take the floor, Mr. Allen. Mr. President, you can now take the floor, Mr. Allen. 
Mais on a déjà débattu le fait de savoir We si on est complètement dans un système de civilo uh, ou de communo, si le droit français doit être, la justice française doit être exactement suivi. Et je ne pense pas French, uh, devoir revenir sur ce point et sous tout ce débat. Nous sommes yes, sous le règlement intérieur et la seule chose qui doit diriger et gouverner ces débats, c'est le règlement intérieur. Et le règlement intérieur, la règle 90, deuxième alinéa, parle précisément de l'interrogatoire de l'accusé et c'est cette règle que vous devez suivre dans ce débat. Et ce que cette règle vous dit, 90.2, c'est que l'accusé, effectivement, est autorisé et répond avec question sur des portions de ce débat et que toutes les parties doivent, peu, les juges, puis le procureur, puis les parties civiles, puis la défense, peuvent poser des questions à l'accusé et peuvent lui demander des clarifications. Et ce que nous disons simplement, c'est que ce débat-là, ces questions et ces clarifications doivent avoir lieu à l'audience. Et quel est le sens de donner à mes confrères le droit eux-mêmes en audience de poser des, de poser des questions et de demander des clarifications si tous les soirs, ils s'entretiennent avec leurs clients, posent des questions à leurs clients et requièrent des, des clarifications à leurs clients. Et nous disons simplement, nous disons simplement que pour que la règle 92 ait du sens, pendant que l'accusé répond à des questions, si mes confrères veulent demander d'autres questions ou requérir d'autres clarifications, ils doivent le faire. En audience. Et c'est la seule façon de garantir euh, l'intégrité de cette procédure. Et c'est simplement ce que nous disons. Et vous n'êtes pas gouverné par des principes de droit français ou de droit allemand ou de droit anglais ou de droit américain. Vous êtes gouverné par le règlement intérieur, la règle 92. Et la règle 92, encore une fois, demande à ce que toutes les parties posent des questions et requièrent les clarifications en audience. Merci, Uh, the trial chamber uh, noted uh, this matter and will uh, respond and ruling after uh, the break uh, in its uh, deliberation, and then uh, we will come back to the party after that. Uh, next, uh, we will go forward with the hearing uh, to ask the question uh, in relation to uh, the establishment of S21, uh, of, uh, S uh, the facts of the establishment of S21 and uh, the prison at the psychiatric hospital at Tukmau and uh, relevant questions uh, made on uh, uh, first day and we did not uh, finish uh, with all those questions. Uh, and now the trial chamber will uh, give the floor to Judge uh, Yasakon to continue uh, to uh, ask uh, those questions to the, the accused about the facts mentioned about. Yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President, said Yad Judge Yasakon. Uh, the child person. Uh, La, the accused, uh, 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 you said that um, there were four uh, interrogation. There were the cool group, uh, uh, chewing groups, and the hot groups. So who were in the fourth group? Uh, was it a female interrogator? You have talked also about the team of mastication. Is the fourth group the group of interrogators feminine? The accused, uh, your honours, Monsieur le Président, uh, your honours, the fourth group. Uh, I want to say it was a female cadre to interrogate the female prisoners. D'interrogateur féminin qui interrogeait les prisonnières.
in this group, do you have any role to uh, ask the to interrogate the prisoner? Uh, Your Honor, I have no duty to interrogate any prisoner. Uh, but in fact, uh, only one case uh, with, with Kai Tuan that uh, my superior ordered me to ask, uh, to interrogate uh, personally. Other than that, I did not interrogate any prisoner. Question. Uh, you indicate that in building A, uh, it was the interrogation building. Were there any uh, police uh, regulation uh, for the prisoner to read before the interrogation? Uh, Your Honours, the police uh, regulation was not uh, belong to S21. I La saw on the reenactment re day. Comme il a été dit la, dans le cadre de la journée de reconstitution. Mr. President, please uh, judge Lawen. Monsieur le Président, uh, Monsieur le Juge Laverne, vous avez la parole. Simplement pour clarifier la question qui vient uh, d'être posée par mon collègue Asokan. Il est question de politique. Est-ce qu'il s'agit d'instructions, de règles à suivre Que signifie ce mot politique Uh, your honors, uh, Judge Lawen, uh, at that time there, there's a misinterpretation. Uh, the police, uh, uh, it is called this plane of uh, security. It is fabricated by the Vietnamese troops. There's ten effet, rules. I uh, objected. Avait, uh, it is not politics, it is called uh, discipline. discipline Uh, question. Uh, who was in charge of the military unit? Uh, what was its uh, functions at that time? Uh, who made the order to that unit? The accused, uh, your honors. I indicated that uh, during the investigation stage, the military affair was in charge by my deputy, Comrade Hoare. And now I reiterate uh, what were the military tasks. Uh, it, they were uh, including the arrest, the detention. Uh, number three, it was is to take the prisoner to Chung Ek uh, to smash. 
pour qu'il soit And écrasé. Number four, to intervene when there is the insurgent or the uh, attack from outside. Uh, those uh, belong to the military affair from the beginning. I maintain it the same, but uh, in addition, uh, when I was so busy to read the confessions, uh, when I became uh, the, ch the chief, Uh, regarding the interrogation team and uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, was uh, managed by uh, Comrade Ho. Uh, Comrade Ho had no uh, right to uh, read only uh, the confession by the key prisoner. Uh, this is the order from the superior, uh, but um, the day-to-day -day business for uh, Comrade Ho's duty in conclusion I would like to tell you that uh, the duty, the criminal duty uh, made by her was the crime against the dead people, the people who were already died. Uh, why it, I said that? Uh, during the Khmer Rouge, uh, when uh, the four people made decision to smash anyone, the subordinate uh, had to uh, arrest, detain, interrogate, torture, and uh, smash uh, secretly without any leak of information to their relatives. And then Comrade Ho did that job uh, from day to day, and uh, his crimes order by the superior and under my supervision, it was his task. Uh, as for myself, as I told your honors already, uh, it was uh, related to uh, the crime with the uh, related to uh, policy uh, to be absolute in interrogation to, uh, I uh, will not Uh, object the responsibility. It, it looks it was a very uh, uh, crime. Uh, a severe crime for her, but um, my crime was uh, against the people who were in freedom. It affected uh, the reputation uh, when they were trusted by uh, the party, and uh, my creation of document affected those uh, people. It, uh, it, it seemed to be fairly long for now, but um, that's all for my uh, response now. Uh, your Honor, Uh, uh, I ask for your leave to make uh, uh, remarks. I want uh, the accused to uh, provide clarification in relation to the uh, police uh, discipline in S uh, security office. Uh, S21, I would like uh, to ask for your honor permission. Um, uh, the president, um, the, re the request is objected. Uh, please, uh, Judge Sakon, proceed your question. Uh, you said uh, a while ago that Ho was in charge of the uh, military, military uh, unit, but in the organizational chart uh, mentioned that Paul was in charge of uh, military affairs. So what were the, the relation between Paul and Ho at that time? The accused, uh, your honors. At uh, this security office, there were two tasks. Uh, number one was the security task. Uh, secondly was a military task. Uh, the security task was under my supervision, and the military affair was under Comrade Ho. Et c'est le camarade Roll qui avait la responsabilité des tâches militaires. Comrade Paul, I, I forget his family name, but he, he was one of the uh, 
uh, cadre. He was the absolute, Mais uh, absolute uh, cadre. Il était uh, the word le cadre absolute. absolu. Et uh, s'agissant de ce mot uh, absolu, uh, I would like to uh, uh, clarify that it was used uh, to refer to anyone who were very absolute and serious in smashing pour, uh, the enemy. À l'encontre de ceux qui euh, écrasaient les ennemis. It means that um, it is uh, someone who absolutely to commit qu the crime. de quelqu'un qui est euh, engagé pour commettre ces crimes. Uh, among the cadres of uh, Division uh, 703 who Parmi were transferred to S21, qui ont été transférés à S21, it was uh, Comrade Paul who was the determined uh, to commit uh, the crime qui, compared uh, to other cadres. Décidé de, de, de commettre le crime, mais ceci, si on le compare par rapport à d'autres cadres. Uh, to mention this matter to indicate that Paul of S21 is different from uh, Comrade Paul. S21 est différent du camarade Paul. Uh, was the uh, different from Comrade Paul, who was full name Mans Paul of M13, uh, who was uh, smashed uh, by me under the superior uh, already. Uh, Précédemment, sous, 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 ayant suivi l'ordre de mes supérieurs. Uh, the military affairs, uh, which was under the supervision of Comrade Hor, sous la supervision du camarade Hor. Uh, he assigned to Comrade Paul to uh, to perform for uh, for him. He was the deputy to lui. Comrade Hor. En effet, il était l'adjoint du camarade Hor. The military tax was in charge by Paul, Comrade Paul, who was subordinate of uh, Comrade Hor. Qui était un subordonné du camarade Hor. Question. In the military unit, uh, how many units were Question. divided from that unit? Combien y avait-il d'unités au sein de cette unité militaire? Response. Réponse. The details of the statistics and the forces, I don't, uh, and, uh, I don't know much, but I would like to divide this into two. First, the normal guards. Les diviserait en deux parties. Tout d'abord, il y avait les gardes qui étaient détenus à S21 dans le centre de détention. Deux, deuxièmement, les gardes spéciaux uh, monitored by Hum Hui. Sous la supervision de Hum Hui. Uh, il était en charge de la spéciale. Responsable des gardes spéciaux. That's why I would like to make it clear there are two different units. qu'il existait deux unités distinctes. Question to be clear. I would like the court official to project uh, the document ERN 0154 on, on the overhead uh, projector so that uh, the accused can see. Le, du projecteur, uh, de à permettre à l'accusé de voir um, ce dont nous parlons. Paris, man,
Jaja Sakon, could you please zoom in? Le juge Yasakon intervient. Pouvez-vous euh, agrandir? Yasakon. Le juge. The guards were divided les into several en groups. And how many groups were there? And how many people were in each group? Response. Réponse. I don't uh, know in detail of the forces. I only know that uh, Comrade uh, Paul, Comrade Smoon, Comrade Man, and Boyd were the cadres from the um, from the company, and he, they were transferred from the division. Paul were the was the con, uh, cadre from company, and Smoon and Man. And both also cut us from the company, but I am not sure I can uh, remember the other guards. As for the special force or guards, first, Peng was in charge. He himself was the cadre of uh, the company, and when he was replaced by, uh, he was uh, in place of both, then Hoi took turn to become the cadre of the platoon for the special force, the uh, special guards. First, there was Comrade Boyd. When Boyd was arrested, Boyd, then Peng, uh, sorry, Peng a... took charge. Excusez-moi, Peng. Uh, a... Hui was the secretary of the platoon, and he was also promoted to the Il a été également nommé the company uh, position in charge of the guards. So, if you look at the left hand side, you can see female cadres for interrogating female prisoners. On top was Mott, the wife of Comrade Ho. Ho was my secretary. She was the head of the inter uh, female interrogator's team, then followed by Kuhn, the wife of Comrade Hoi. Uh, she was the deputy of that group, uh, female group. And then we have Comrade Ni, wife of Comrade Bon, who was the cadre who interrogated uh, female prisoners and then followed by Ron, the uh, wife of uh, Prong, And she also was the cadre, female cadre who interrogated uh, female prisoners. But still, I have not included uh, Comrade Bun, the wife of Camarade uh, Peng. La femme uh, de comrade May, uh, Main, who was already Main, smashed. So altogether, there écrasé. were five female total interrogators in the team. Two were smashed, deux ont été écrasés, and Boon was et also Boon smashed when uh, uh, Main was Lorsque also arrested. Main a so they were Lui all people in the female detained, uh, sorry, interrogating group. Question, so what Question. were the duties of the uh, guards or the force? Des des force. Response. Réponse. The guards were tasked with guarding 
les gardes the prisoners, avaient la responsabilité de garder the les victimes qui étaient détenues à leurs premises et ils devaient leur fournir de la nourriture et des médicaments pour les médicaments pour les prisonniers pour les garder vivants before they finally smashed and also to send victims to the interrogators. They guarded them and make sure that uh, the prisoners could not abscond and they make, make sure that they did not die before the confession was cut off. Question. Question. Uh, were the guards, uh, Les guards uh, classified as uh, inter inside guards and outside guards at S21? Response. I think uh, I have not paid Je good attention to these, but through my recollections, I may uh, respond as following. The normal guard. Suivante. Under Boyd and Payne's supervision, they were only guarding uh, inside the premises. But for the people who guarded the special uh, prisons, which were to the south of Ponyat High School, de de uh, they, uh, the prisoners were guarded by the special force. Therefore, Par conséquent, Peng's uh, forces guarded inside, Peng the special forces of Comrade Hui guarded outside. Comrade Hui guarded à l'extérieur du complexe. Question. Could you please uh, clarify the uh, special forces? What were they assigned to do? sur les forces spéciales. Ces forces spéciales étaient assignées à quelle tâche? Response. Réponse. The special force had the following six. First, les to guard outside uh, the premises. De l'extérieur des lieux. Deuxièmement, to wait to receive uh, victims who were brought in. Des qui Normally, uh, outside units send victims to be detained at S21. First, they deliver them to a house labeled as air uh, or, or in English now uh, it is the location where BHU radio station is occupied. Those people uh, received uh, prisoners and uh, registered their names and then uh, delivered them to the guards and Hoi would take uh, the prisoners to Comrade Peng. After that, Hoi could be relieved uh, of their duty. So this is the duty of the guards to receive prisoners and deliver them to the guards. Third garde. duty, Troisième the internal intervention. For example, when the enemies exemple, grabbed uh, a weapon, then the special force would eh bien, intervene under the supervision of Comrade Ho to fight Ho fiercely to defend the unit uh, the office and the party at the premises. Four, if 
there were any outsider intervention, these people would be ready to defend uh, uh, the premises from the outside intervention, but there was none of such intervention from the outside. Number five, sometimes this special force uh, arrested uh, people who were made a uh, decision, who, uh, whose uh, uh, the, uh, the people who were already decided uh, by the superior to arrest, uh, for example, Selon like in the case of Koitun and when Chum Som Aok, alias Pang, was arrested, Koutoun, uh, was arrested uh, by the special force. So Ho, Comrade Ho, did uh, conduct uh, such the arrest. There were only people, and I was the commander, Ho was the arrester, and Chum Som Aok, alias Pang, was the victim who uh, would be arrested Pang and according to the order from Nguyen Chia. So the special force had uh, the above uh, roles. Avait les That's responsabilités all. Que je viens de décrire. Voilà. Question. In Question. The force, uh, the guards unit, uh, were any Dans guards assigned to guard at Chung Ek? Response. À Chung Ek? The Réponse. guards who were uh, the stationed at Chung Ek was part Ek of the special force. De la force spéciale. I just learned that Je viens uh, cela. they existed when I uh, was introduced to the enactment uh, 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 time because uh, they were responsible for digging the pits and buried uh, the corpses. They were living with those corpses. And so these guards were posted the cadavres. Question. Question. How many people were in that uh, group? Combien de personnes faisaient partie de Response. ce groupe? Réponse. So far as I remember, à ma there were four people in that small unit. Three to four people who stationed uh, at that uh, location. Uh, they were uh, be careful to make sure that people could not uh, see where the that body were buried. Personne avait pour tâche de faire en sorte que les personnes ne voient pas où les corps étaient enterrés. Question. Apart from the interrogating unit and the military unit, were there any other units uh, within S21 structure? Response. There were other units. Il y avait d'autres unités. Numerous units. De nombreuses autres unités. I may uh, tell about the units as following. I may forget some. First, uh, the uh, unit uh, in charge of uh, typing. Another one is the unit to uh, manage uh, the phone op uh, function at S21. The third one is the photography unit. Fourth, Unité, the medics unit, unité, uh, medical, five, cinq, uh, food unité, uh, security unit, unité, uh, pour, uh, la, uh, la rest la restauration, uh, the, the unit divided into kitchens, la kitchens for victims and kitchen for uh, cadres uh, and com combatants. Pour, uh, les, uh, Détenus et cuisine pour les combattants, les gardes, le personnel. And there were small subunits. Il y avait également the unit des to unités copy plus petites, l'unité chargée de 
recopié les uh, this unit cartes was in charge of making a copy of that uh, big map copier des um, cartes de grand format uh, the unit in charge by comrade T, there was a unit in charge of uh, keeping the documents and also the unit in charge of plantation, uh, production and plantation. L'unité chargée de la production et des plantations, élevage et plantation. Question. Question. Who was in charge of uh, the typewriting unit? Uh, response. That unit was in charge by uh, uh, the unit in charge of uh, typewriting the copy or the extracts of the confession of prisoners. So people in this unit uh, received the confessions from Comrade Ho, and when it necessary, I also need to, needed to give uh, the confession to them. So they were in charge of uh, typing the confessions and maybe other documents, but mainly they only uh, type uh, the confessions. So the most secret confession was not under the, uh, the task of Comrade Hu, Hui. Uh, my two messengers were in charge, Comrade Chen and Sam. And Ho could not see that uh, most secret uh, confession because my messengers were exclusively in charge of such uh, confessions. Questions. Uh, the telephone unit uh, for uh, outside or inside communication of S21. Um, your Honor, uh, the telephones uh, from outside, yes, uh, there was a phone call. It was directly to my house, only one place that they call in. This is a, that was a special telephone uh, communication when we uh, start to communicate and we push on a, 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 a button and uh, the voice frequency was changed. No one could use the pin to listen on the, the line. And it, uh, the phone was changed from the human voice to uh, a, a, a technical voice. Um, the connection of the line from uh, my uh, the road to my house and the central telephone was in at the office of uh, Professor Sun Sen, which I mark as B of uh, the Phnom Penh map that I submitted. Uh, it, it was the central uh, telephone communication uh, location. And uh, inside S21, uh, there, was two, there were two type of telephone communication. Uh, one type, I call it uh, electronic, uh, then used by the military people with uh, the battery, two, two batteries, and they, uh, it was in uh, one of the sun center, it was used by 10 people, more than 10 people. Uh, it was not connected to my house because to avoid interference. Uh, another uh, telephone, I call it automatic uh, telephone it, uh, that I dialed by uh, uh, my finger. 
It was uh, very small. It was about three cabinets, uh, one at my home, another one at the uh, Comrade Ho's home. So when I need to uh, talk to Comrade Ho, I call him through this uh, telephone. Et donc, lorsque j'avais besoin de communiquer avec lui, je l'appelais par l'intermédiaire uh, de In conclusion, uh, Comrade Payne was in charge of uh, that telephone, connect to my house uh, from outside and connect uh, from my house to the central to the automatic phone. In addition to that, uh, he was in charge of the electronic uh, telephone, but I did not know whether he uh, allocate those to which uh, unit or company. Questions. Uh, was the photograph unit, uh, how many people were there in that unit? Uh, what was its task? The accused, uh, Your Honor. L'accusé. Uh, the photograph uh, unit, uh, there were about five or six people. Uh, the chief was Srin. Uh, Srin, I asked him to take photo of the victim who were recently arrived. Uh, it was Comrade Srin who did uh, the mark shot. He was the chief of the group. Uh, number two was Comrade Song. Uh, Comrade Song was in charge of taking photos of those who were uh, sent to the re-education camp at Presor. Another one was in charge of uh, taking photo, but he was uh, uh, in secret as uh, Comrade Three in the special unit. So could you move to uh, the special force? So uh, Comrade Three, he was the uh, deputy secretary of the special unit. Uh, when uh, 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 Uncle Noon order uh, to execute, uh, so he will then Comrade Three who did that photo for uh, for him. So this is the special force. Uh, it was their secret uh, task. So the photograph uh, there were two small uh, team. He was in uh, the special uh, unit, but he acted as the photographer. Another one uh, was in charge, in Esplan one was Comrade Srin. Another one uh, who was in charge in Presor was Comrade Song. Song. Question. Uh, how many people were there in the medics unit and what were their tasks at S21? Uh, response. I uh, do not know how many people in the medics uh, group, but uh, from the beginning, comrade, uh, comrade, some uh, uh, the name. Uh, I'm sorry, I may uh, confuse, but uh, later he was uh, smashed, and then three, three became the chief. Uh, the medic unit, uh, initially, uh, it was in charge of uh, treat, provide treatment to the cadre, but later, Later, uh, Comrade Pao uh, used uh, Bay Marshall uh, for Bay Marshall for a diary, uh, a, the cadre uh, who was a diarrhea, but. Uh, that medicine consists composed of uh, arsenic, and there's a, a bad uh, allergy, and then a uh, report. Uh, it was reported to the upper echelon, and then uh, he was arrested. And later on, the, uh, the cadre who were sick uh, from S21 sent to uh, Hospital uh, 98. And uh, finally, the medics there, uh, they had the duty to provide treatment to the victim, uh, for the victim, so that they can survive for extracting a confession. And another role was to, to produce the tra traditional uh, medicines 
avant so i would like to uh, finish the task of the medics uh, now et donc voici quelles étaient les responsabilités de cette unité question, question. Uh, you said uh, a woman that uh, um, they Vous had the duty to produce the traditional uh, herbs uh, for uh, S21. Was it for the cadre or only for the prisoner? Uh, Response. Um, most of uh, the case uh, for uh, the victim, for the prisoner, because uh, the cadre um, was sent to Hospital 98 for treatment. de soigner les prisonniers, de leur apporter des soins avec une médecine traditionnelle. Uh, I would like to uh, tell Joanna that uh, his hospital uh, uh, for, for 89 was the military uh, hospital. It was the, the code of uh, Professor Sun Sen uh, was uh, 89, but it was reversed to be uh, 98 as the name of hospital. On inversé ce code de manière à ce que le nom de cet hôpital soit Po 98. Questions. Mm -hmm. um, the food supply unit, Et how many people were there in this unit and what were its uh, duty and tasks at S21? Uh, respond. Uh, the food supply unit, I know very well, Comrade Ton, uh, who uh, uh, brought me very often the fruit. Uh, the sources of uh, fruit uh, was in Takamau and also vegetables and uh, the pig raising location was also in Takmao. Uh, I uh, do not remember how many people were there, and they were in charge of uh, pig raising and uh, growing uh, fruit and vegetable at Takmao. And the kitchen unit was divided into two sections, uh, the kitchen for the combatant and the cadre of S21, those who in charge of cooks uh, uh, was uh, Mom, uh, the wife of Mom Nai alias Chan, and uh, those who were in charge of the cooking for the prisoners, uh, the victim who were detained at S21. Uh, sometime it was Chantala, later a man, and I uh, do not remember, but they were taken from um, the prisoner who do the cooking, and Comrade Ton was also in charge of uh, taking uh, the food supply from uh, the logistic uh, unit uh, for uh, the unit. Différentes unités. The president, um, the, the trial president. chamber uh, uh, would like to declare a break for uh, 30 minutes uh, uh, to work on uh, its this decision and will resume again at 11 o'clock.